अनुरोध करते हैं कि अभी यहाँ पे जो भी राउंड टेबल चलेगा उसमें सभी लोग पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे वंस अगेन आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम दिस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग सर दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी क्रिटिकल टाइम वेयर वी आर से थर्टी थ्री ईयर्स हैव पास since the promulgation of this policy called special component plan for scheduled caste and tribal sub plan for scheduled tribes sir so at this time a critical stage has reached where this particular policy which has been promulgated 33 years ago should have been implemented but till now it is not being implemented as a result this year alone for both scheduled castes and scheduled tribes we have lost both at the central government and the state government one year alone we have lost about 175000 crores of rupees although our policies are for the poor and the deprived general policies are for the poor and yet within the poor you have a group uh and that is poor belonging to the elite and high caste so you have the poor belonging to high caste you are poor belonging to other religious minority and you are poor belonging to the shadow caste and shadow tribe and if you look at the national sample survey data with respect to each of the characteristics of poor what you discover is that the shadow caste and shadow tribe poor still lag behind compared to the other poors so poor is not a homogeneous category it is a heterogeneous And two things emerge quite clearly even today, and at that time also. One, that the level of deprivation, if you take only poverty or malnutrition, of the poor belonging to Adivasi and Shadow caste is higher compared to their counterpart from the higher caste. Why it should happen? If there are policies for the poor, why is it that the poor belonging to Shadow caste and Shadow tribe are more poor than others? This is a right of the citizen to choose. their money now there are certain powerful people who are opposing it with it the law why are they opposing it? they say if we give a twenty five percent how can we plan for roads nationalization etc that means you are saying that you want our money pretend that it is used for us and then use it for something else this is daylight robbery which we cannot allow we want your kind help your valuable help and uh, i would request all the honorable leaders to see that this is where the important point I, i don't see the only point but this is a life flight for the socialist since independence several schemes have been introduced for the welfare of the scs and sts lakhs of crores of rupees are allotted but it was never spent directly for the welfare of the scs and sts that was the reason why this demand that there should be a special component plan and st sub plan is there as far as our party is concerned we are with you we are completely in support of this demand and i am very sure that uh, our members of the parliament come raja our leader of the parliamentary group in the Rajya Sabha and we have the CPI has taken up this issue earlier, and our members and left MPs will certainly take up these issues inside the parliament. We will pray for us. Nobody can question the just the justification of the demand. Now the time has come. S C S T. They are mostly. part of uh, the working people working class i may say and uh, it is their right to demand due share fair share in the country's wealth which has been denied over these years and it is a very genuine justified demand but it is not being done it is not being done and the scsp tsp 
So we will have to fight. It is a fight inside parliament and fight outside parliament. Let us carry on this fight. Uh, no such barriers or no such obstacles from the BJP, which people uh, say generally that no, no, BJP people will not want it. So let me be very clear on that line. Ki BJP people are also totally convinced that there must be a national relationship. And we are trying our best to how in our manifesto it can be injected there. Ki we want a national legislation on this issue. And I hope that uh, by your efforts and by your initiative and by your engagement to so many parties and societies, uh, which have been positioned to uh, instill in, the, in, the, in our manifesto. On behalf of CPIM, uh, assure this workshop the, the party will consistently and firmly will support uh, both in the parliament and as well as an outside the parliament uh, to enact this uh, law. Uh, till then, our efforts should be continuous. Uh, for implementation, even if uh, there is in the program and plan, we are not getting the input us. So for all those things, we need to make it more exposed, make it more uh, uh, campaign to the uh, uh, Pali level, to the village level. And for that, we need more campaign. This is very meaningful dialogue before the parliament. This, uh, this interaction, this round table discussion is very meaningful. But two of these uh, special plan or sub plan or special component plan is to reduce substantially poverty and unemployment, first of all. Second, to uh, increase or create uh, assets or uh, productive assets, in fact. The third one is this HRD, education and health. Then, uh, it comes to security, physical and financial security, quality, schedule, and security. And now this focus is going on that the uh, diversion of the fund is earmarked for this so these are all the major issues on the political parties that are in fact openly they will be. But it is true that uh, the uh, big party, one of the biggest parties, the main opposition party leader, is very clear. Is that of course our leaders are convinced, but our MPs are not convinced. I humbly belong to the small party, though we have three members of parliament. I am assuring this honest house that uh, we will definitely ask our members of parliament to support this bill when it comes to the parliament. I am going to say that you are all the members of the parliament and the National Coalition on SPP is in the legislation and how much it is the Dalit and Adivasi for the Vikas because here is our demand वो हम एक्स्ट्रा नहीं मांग रहे हैं जो हमारी हिस्सेदारी है उस हिस्सेदारी को हम मजबूती से लेना चाहते हैं